Hello everyone, this is Leroy and Oscar Tanner, Programming and Technology Services Librarian for the New Ulm Public Library, here to bring you another tutorial about our great digital resources. Today we'll be looking at how to manage your online library account on a mobile device. I'm on an Android device today and I've opened my browser and I'm on the library's homepage, which you can reach by typing www.newohmlibrary.org, enter URL bar at the top of the screen. If I scroll down the screen, a little bit through the library's homepage. About to the center of the screen, we get to this point, and here's where you can connect to the library catalog. And so if you tap on that, it will bring you to the catalog homepage, as we've seen in other tutorials. And there's a login button a little further down. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. But when you tap on it, it opens in a new window, which I've already done. And so if I come up to the top, give me a moment here. Okay, and in the login window, it'll ask you for your barcode and your password. Now, your barcode is your library barcode found on the back of your library card. Uh, you want to put in all the digits, no spaces or hyphens or anything. And then your password, this is by default uh, blank, but uh, you can set it. So if you don't have a password set yet, leave it blank. And then when you click Submit after entering your barcode, I'll show you where you go to change that. But if you do have a password set, you'll enter it here as I have done. If you've forgotten what your password pin is, then uh, give us a call at the library and we'll be happy to get that reset for you. But since I already have mine set, I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. Okay, and this brings me to the catalog homepage. And so instead of having a login button down here, you'll notice it has log out and it has my name. And this is where I can access and manage my account. It's got the search bar like normal up here. Let's go ahead and tap my account just to see what our screen looks like. Okay, so uh, it has my name, has my home library here in New Ulm, contact email, and then there's a bunch of information below that. So let's go over that one thing at a time first. Uh, items that I have checked out. If I tap on that, it'll show me all of them that I have. If I have any outstanding hold requests, those are going to be listed here. Uh, if I have requested something from elsewhere in Minnesota through interlibrary loan, that's going to be here. And then also, there's a reading history. Now, we as librarians can't access that for your privacy, but you can go in and you can check to see what you've read or watched. So if you're wondering, have I read book six in this series or have I seen season three? Um, then you can check it for yourself right there. Now below that, this is where it's going to get into uh, your items that you currently have checked out. And so each item that you have will have a box that you can check in order to do things with. Uh, once you check that box, you can renew that specific item. Remember, you can renew items up to twice. And default checkout periods for movies is a week and for books is three weeks. Uh, you can also, instead of checking boxes individually, if you need to renew all your items, you can do so here. Um, but recall that if someone else has a hold on the item, it won't let you renew it because they're waiting for it. You can also source your items by checkout right here, and so it'll put them by date of when you checked them out, and you can do that from earliest checkout or from latest checkout. Either way is fine. And then up here at the top are two things. First, you can edit your account here, so you can update your address, your email address, contact information there. And then, as I mentioned earlier, this is where you're going to go in, and if you haven't created a password or PIN yet, uh, you can change it and update it here. It has to be at least four digits, and it can be letters, numbers, special characters like dollar signs and question marks and exclamation points and things like that. Um, but it has to be at least four digits long. And it'll ask you to enter it twice to confirm it, and then you're all set. Uh, make sure that you keep that in a, in a safe place so you'll be able to remember it. Okay, so now that I've looked around the account page, uh, the differences that you'll find between logging into your account and just regularly searching in the catalog, let's take a look. So, for example, let's look for um, the Meg, because my son really likes sharks. Megalodons. Okay, and remember on the left-hand side of the screen, just as we've shown in mobile tutorials before, is where you can refine your search options. Availability for if it's checked out or not. Format, what kind of item it is, book, audiobook, etc. Um, and then other things as we go down. So let's go ahead and let's say it has to be checked in. 
and let's go format and let's say we're looking for movies because we were looking for that movie aha and here we have a few if I tap one of them here yep this is the one that has new ohm and notice it again it has available and as we looked at previously if you scroll down it gives you a lot more information about the DVD as far as uh, actors and actresses um, summary of the plot and so forth and now that I'm logged into my account, if I would like to put a hold on the item, I just tap this request it button and it enters the hold into the system. And then if I went back to my account page, which I should be able to do down here at the bottom, tap my account, then it would show up, if I had tapped the request, it would show up right here as a hold on my account. And then the librarians would get the notification and they'd put it on the hold shelf for you to be able to uh, set up to check out. All right, that's how you manage your account. Uh, one last thing, uh, logout procedure. So down at the bottom here, uh, you'll notice that it also shows things I recently viewed and searched. And then down below that, log out. If I tap log out, sure you want to log out? Yes. Okay, back to the home page of the catalog. And there's that login button that we mentioned at the beginning. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us through our details below. Thanks for watching.